San Francisco added exactly what all the other teams in the NFL feared this offseason and it's going to help them recapture the former glory they had in 2019 when they made it all the way to the Super Bowl. During that 2019-2020 Super Bowl run, the Niners had the most dominant defensive line across the entire NFL. They often would just dominate opposing offensive lines from the start of the game to the end of the game, making it nearly impossible to operate an effective offense against the Niners. Couple that with their great running game, it was nearly impossible to stop the Niners during the 2019 season. But what exactly changed after that 2019 season and why haven't they been able to recapture the former glory they once had. Well, one of the biggest talking points after that offseason was the trade of DeForest Buckner. The Niners then picked up Javon Kinlaw and hoped to replace Buckner and save money on the cap space. This turned out to be a huge miscalculation on the Niners part. After that season, they never had the dominant interior defensive line like that again. So during this offseason, the Niners did realize their mistake and realize they definitely need a dominant interior of their defensive line so the exterior players, players like Bosa, D Ford, Drake Jackson can all succeed at a high level. The Niners solution to this problem was the addition of Javon Hargrave. Last year, Hargrave had a phenomenal season. He recorded 60 tackles. But more impressive was his sack total. At 11 sacks, he was one of the most premier defensive tackles across the entire NFL. So the Niners finally are getting that push on the interior they used to have in DeForest Buckner. In this video, I hope to dive a little bit deeper into the Niners' new addition this offseason, Javon Hargrave. I'm going to go over his high school career, his college career, his scouting combine, what scouts were saying about him, his time at Pittsburgh, and his time with the Philadelphia Eagles before speaking about his role with the Niners going forward. Javon Hargrave started his football career at North Rowan High School. He wasn't a very known prospect as a defensive tackle, receiving only one offer from South Carolina State. Hargrave began attending South Carolina State in 2011, but he didn't see his first action until 2012. And once he saw his first action in 2012, he never stopped seeing the field until 2015. Across his time there, he played in a total of 45 games, registering 210 tackles, with 63 of those being for loss and 37 being for sacks. Like many rookies coming out of college, Hargrave had his strengths as well as his weaknesses. His strengths were definitely his ability to have his motor non-stop running. He would go after the play no matter where it was on the field. He also dominated his level of competition regularly. But there were some downsides to his game. Like, he had short arms and tiny hands, and the NFL really wondered how that would carry over. He also apparently had lack of instincts and feel for the position, according to some scouts. During the NFL Combine, Hargrave put up some impressive numbers. His 4-yard dash was 4.93 seconds, but maybe even more impressive was his 10-yard split, which he ran in 1.7 seconds. Not bad for a 6'1", 310-pound defensive lineman. And I guess the Pittsburgh Steelers agreed because they selected Hargrave in the third round, 89th overall in the 2016 NFL Draft. It's not like it took much time for Hargrave to acclimatize to the NFL either because he took the starting nose tackle job in 2016, his rookie year, from fellow nose tackle Daniel McCullers. Hargrave played with the Steelers from 2016 to 2019. His best years came in 2019 and 2018, where in 2018 he put up 6.5 sacks and in 2019 he put up 4 sacks. After these impressive seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers where Hargrave demonstrated his ability to be a true playmaker on the defense, he decided 
to go ahead and get his bag. On March 21st, 2020, Hargrave signed a three-year, $39 million contract with the Philadelphia Eagles, and it proved to be worth every penny for the Eagles going forward. During 2020, Hargrave had four and a half sacks. The next year, in 2021, Hargrave had seven and a half sacks, and during 2022, Hargrave once again upped his production up to 11 sacks. Throughout the Eagles championship run last year, Hargrave was one of the key contributors on the defensive line that led the league in sacks. Now he enters a defensive line room coached by one of the best defensive line coaches in Chris Kisarek. He's been able to get the most out of underutilized guys, but he also was coaching the defensive player of the year last year in Nick Bosa. Pair Nick Bosa with Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead, and the developmental leap I expect to see out of Drake Jackson come year two, the Niners defensive line might just be the scariest defensive line in the league, much like 2019. So does this mean the Niners are bound to make it into the Super Bowl again this year? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. 